Hello and welcome back to the Concept Checkup. The point of Concept Checkup is to dive into the Warframe forums, look for a community-made Warframe concept, and talk about it. For the purpose of Concept Checkup, I will use my custom-built evaluating method known as, AS. Without further ado, let's begin the checkup. For today's checkup we have Telem, the Marksman Warframe. Telem looks like what you get when you combine an Avara and a Mesa. There's nothing wrong with that of course, as Telem looks awesome as fuck. Telem was created by Blazing Cobalt on the Warframe forums, and functions somewhat as a supporter by dealing damage, if that makes any sense. With average stats and low armor, it's clear that Telem is a squishy frame that should remain in the back of the squad. Telem may have some resemblance to Mesa, but before I continue, allow me to note that Telem's abilities cater to him being a marksman, that is ranged abilities that can still be evade when you're not in the thick of combat. Also, Telem has some pretty fucking badass alternate helmets, so there's that. Oh, Telem also brings with him some custom Cyandanas, which aren't too shabby if I say so myself. Telem's passive is unknown, as Telem currently does not have a passive. Telem's first ability is Pinpoint, a toggle skill. Telem targets an enemy and applies a mark on them. While the mark is active, it will buff all crit damage against the enemy by 200-400%, to 400%, depending on where the mark landed. The mark will drain Telem's energy until it's toggled off or until Telem runs out of energy, and once the marked enemy dies, the mark will pass on to the enemy closest to the original mark target. Multi-hit weapons will have the mark buff applied before the damage is done so the effect can occur. Building for power range with pinpoint equals GG. Telem's second ability is Seer, for a limited amount of time, Telem can see enemies through walls, and while Seer is active, all primary and secondary weapons gain a plus 2.5 punch through buff to take care of enemies seen through walls. This buff states that it applies to all primary and secondary weapons, so I will assume that Seer's punch through buff is a team buff, not a personal buff. I can really imagine Seer being a huge deal to use if you take along a bow such as Arachnus Ernos or a sniper such as the Rubico. Seer could also have some use in missions such as defense in sorties, where you are cramped into a small area to defend an operator. With Seer's effects, Telem would know where the enemy is coming from and could easily pick off a few before they arrive. Telem's third ability is Overheat. All allies within a certain radius of Telem gain a buff. Their ammo used is cut in half, so in a way their ammo becomes more efficient, and they gain a fire rate buff that increases in strength over time. Overheat has a base duration of 5 seconds, and every 3 seconds Overheat's power is increased by 10%, so for example, an overheat that lasts 3 seconds will grant a 15% fire rate buff, but if it reaches the 6 second mark, it will be bumped to 25%, and if it gets to 9 seconds total, it will be increased to 35%, and so on. Bearing this ability with higher rate of fire weapons such as the dual grey kata will result in you gaining the ability to fire an insane amount of bullets in a short span. To compensate, you'd probably have to take recoil reducing mods such as steady hands. Telem's fourth ability is Headhunter. Before I continue, please note that Telem was created about a month before Mesa was released, so bear with me here. Upon activating Headhunter, Telem draws two small guns and targets enemies in a radius around him. Unlike the old turret mode Peacemaker, Headhunter kills a few enemies at a time, but has a large range much like Ash's Blade Storm. During this, Telem is stationary and cannot move. However, if Telem is being fired at by enemies, he will perform a dodge animation and will not be damaged. I'm quite aware that Headhunter is nearly identical to Peacemaker. However, it's important to note that Headhunter essentially gives Telem stationary god mode that can only take on a few enemies at once, compared to Peacemaker's everything dies in 3 seconds targeting. Telem is an odd one to evaluate. If his pinpoint can apply on bosses or assassins such as the Shadow Stalker, I can really see him being used in assassin and boss farms. Overheat could be used to considerably extend a squad's lifetime in long missions such as T4 survival and defense, and could really have its moments when ammo is scarce. 
Headhunter could make for an interesting return of the old peacemaker, but there'd have to be a few changes, which I will get into in a moment. The buff from Telem's pinpoint could potentially be a massive help in crowd clearing if paired with Nova's molecular prime, depending on how fast the pinpoint mark spreads after a marked target is killed. Of course, the issue with Telem would be staying alive, because of his mediocre stats, really he'd be the frame who can't leave the snow globe or Bastille without being shot to ribbons within seconds. His buffs could potentially make up for his low durability, however. Now here are Telem's scores. Telem is a Warframe concept that rustles my jimmies in a positive way. He has the look of a sniper frame that Ivar has, and the kit to back it up, except for his fourth ability. He also has some pretty sick alternate helmets, so really all Telem needs is a passive, a different fourth ability, and he's ready to go. For my personal thoughts, I think that Telem would be a nice way to appease those that don't find Mesa to be gun-wieldy enough. Telem can be a good concept that DE can build upon, if his fourth ability is changed. Telem can either receive an ability that's more sniper-esque than a different version of Peacemaker, or Telem can simply have more energy drained when he uses his dodge animations while in Headhunter. So that's Telem's checkup. Tune in tomorrow where I will perform a concept checkup on a frame that I've been recently requested to cover. Thank you for watching.